in this um, sketchbook exploration I want to uh, really explore getting very loose with mark making creating really interesting paint effects and then butting that up with um, an order and a structure. So here I am um, just laying down some collage and I've selected these pieces because they've got interesting edges. There are edges that have been torn, uh, there's edges that have been cut very neatly um, for some other sort of project and there are edges that uh, have been ripped out of a notebook or a sketch pad. So there's a variety of different types of edges that um, will appear on the surface um, and that's what I'm after here. So I'm just gluing them down, making sure they're stuck down really flat and um, and now I'm painting over with gesso and just so that I'm sort of making it all quite light and I'm just really interested in those edges and how they're going to react with the paint and sort of catch the paint as I slide it across. So it's sprinkling a little bit of water onto the gesso and then I'm, which just loosens it and then I can move it around and, and I can see, I can reveal some of the um, collage uh, papers there. So I've mixed up a bit of paint and I'm just spreading this on quite thinly over the top and what I want here is I want to start these edges catching a little bit of the um, paint so that you start to see those edges a bit more clearly and you can see it here when I put on a darker paint. Um, so I'm just spreading this on with a colour shaper so that it's quite a thin transparent layer and I'm building up these overlays of paint transparent paint. So you get a, a contrast between thick paint where it catches on those edges of the collage and it's um, thin uh, where it slides over the top and that's kind of the effect I'm looking for here. So once that's kind of dry I'm now going to come in with a pencil and add some line and I'm picking up the colour that I see coming through in that piece of collage to the right so I'm using a sort of orangey pencil and um, of course the way that I paint is just completely intuitive, just you know trying things out, experimenting all the time. So this is a little bit of um, acrylic ink and I've splattered that on and just sort of spreading that around and that's going to catch on those edges too, create some different sort of um, effects, transparent sort of layer over the top and thicker parts where it sort of falls into the crevices between the collage. Now when that's dry I'm adding some thick paint so I've sort of built up layers of thin transparent paint and now I'm going to sort of find shapes by adding some thicker paint um, but still keeping within a limited colour range still using the basic pale blues um, that I've been using in the paint underneath. Okay, so just sort of using the colour shaper to spread that around and find get some sort of accidental things happening. I don't want to have too much control because remember what I'm trying to create here is a feeling of looseness and then I'm going to put some, some controlled sort of structure over the top. So I've got to allow for sort of mistakes and accidents and, and uh, lose a bit of control, which is why drawing with a little bit of pencil lead that fell out of the pencil uh, kind of fits into that as well. You have to deal with what you've got. Okay so now I'm sort of loosely adding on some green paint bringing in another colour but making sure that it's light like the blue underneath it and uh, so I add the paint on and then spreading it about so that there's little bits of this green sort of um, distributed all over the composition. Some parts of it it's transparent and other parts it's opaque and thick. And now I'm going to try and bring in some, I'm trying to think of the design now, trying to pay attention to having some strong contrasts of light and dark. So mixing up a dark blue, I'm coming in with this dark blue colour. Uh, mixing it with a little bit of water so that it'll be transparent in parts and opaque in others. And then spreading it around with that colour shaper just to allow some of those loose accidental sort of marks to happen. Mixing a little bit of green over the top there. 
picking out another color that's already um, in the composition. So now I'm picking out this orange and bringing that into it and just sort of distributing that around as well. Blending it in, carrying it through. And you can see here the, the building up of the layers. You can see the bits of ink, the thick paint, the edges of the collage, the surface of the collage and parts, the line. It all adds to that richness of the surface. And, um, you know, it's all done with experimenting, really, just trying out and seeing what, what happens. Now coming in, still thinking about the design of this composition and trying to bring in some light values so that I can create some edges and bring in a little bit of structure, which I do with those edges. So where you have a light against dark, you have a bit of structure. Okay, so it's all fairly loose, and now I'm going to bring in something that's not loose, and that is um, these patches of sort of stripes here. So this is a pattern. This is very organized, which is quite different from how the rest of the paint has gone on, and that's an opposite. So it's bringing these opposites together that really interests me in my work. Okay, so looking for contrasts and value and color and saturation in these little patches of stripes here. Now you'll notice that they're all kind of the same size. That's a problem. So I need to break into them and I need to disrupt the surface a bit, which I can do by throwing on a bit of water and then sort of digging back into the surface, which you can see here I'm using the blade of the color shaper to dig back and take off that. And now I'm going to change the shape, the uh, size of that patch there and uh, reduce it down to a little sliver. Okay, changing the shape of this one. Cutting into it so it has a nice sharp edge. And then this one's going to have a softer edge with this green. So now they are three different sized little patches of um, stripes. And that's going to be a lot more interesting than having them the same size. And so now I'm just sort of distributing this green around the place and looking for where I can add interesting marks and um, using black, to, black in places just to sort of create more uh, value contrasts and lead the eye around the composition. Now creating those edges again, see how light against dark will create an edge and that provides a bit of structure to the composition. So once I've added the edge I can soften it with my colour shaper which is what I do here as well. See how it was a block and now it's softened into a sort of a, a little area of soft marks. And finally what I like to do is add some lettering which just suggests that there actually is a meaning behind all of this. don't know what it is, but it's fun to pretend that there is one. I'm sure there is one, actually. Okay, so that's the final thing. And um, you can see I've sort of created a lot of chaos, a lot of mark making, and then brought in that structure over the top. Fun. <laughs>